Barnyard Bedtime by Annie Sarek. Nighttime floats across the farm. It's time for sleep, of course, but something here is not quite right. Where's the pig and cow and horse? Look, the cow is in the chicken coop, mooing out a song. But cows don't sleep in little nests. That's not where they belong. Moo, moo. Time for bed, cow. Now the chicks are in the pig's pen splashing muddy goo. What a mess these chickens have made. And now they're stinky too. Peep, peep. Time for bed, chicks. Uh-oh, the sheep are in the duck pond having a good soak. They like the sound of flowing water and the little froggies croak. Bad, bad. Time for bed, sheep. The ducks are in the sheep's pen, out on the big green lawn. They're munching on some clover while trying not to yawn. Quack, quack. Time for bed, ducks. The kitties want to try their luck at cockadoodle doing, but kitties should be snug in bed, warm and softly mewing. Meow, meow. Time for bed, kitties. Where can we find the little piglets? They're rolling in the hay, playing in the horse's stall, and testing out a neigh. Oink, oink. Time for bed, piglets. There's only one more left to find. Where is that silly horse? She's all tucked in and snoring loud in the puppy's bed, of course. Nay, nay. Time for bed, horse. Into PJs snug and warm, then into each soft bed. Now quiet time for animals as a storybook is read. Piggy asks for one more drink, then horse and ducky too. Okay, okay. Just one more drink, then off to sleep with you. Nighttime floats across the farm. Are the animals at rest? All is quiet, calm, at peace as the sun sets in the west. Where are all the animals? They're each in their own beds, dreaming dreams of love and warmth in their sleepy little heads. Good night, 
Sleep tight. The end.